jobs. I don't, you know what, I'm not judging you for having them. It's none of my business. I just, I could never, it was just never my thing. I had one of these uh, nine to fives before nine to, you know what the worst part of the nine to five is? The nine. <laughs> Noon to five, yes. Nine to five, that's just crazy talk. I, I'm not even up at nine. What am I, a farmer? <laughs> and the problem is, is that we all use our alarm clocks. And aren't you so much more bold at night when you set the alarm clock? than the next morning when it goes off. At night, uh, it's 2.30 in the morning, I'm ready to take on the world. All right, tomorrow morning, I'm, I'm, well, two hours from now, I am gonna wake up at 4.30 a.m. I'm gonna jog 12 miles. I'm, I'm getting the band back together. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna give blood, I'll, I'll be an hour early to work. Yeah. That's at night, the next morning after you've hit the snooze button 68 times, you're thinking, okay, how many sick days do I have left? Can I call in one more time? Can I get away with that? Thank you. <laughs> the, the, the problem is, is the nine minute snooze button that I have. Mine gives me nine minutes. How did, they, how did they decide on nine minutes? Nine minutes is not a snooze. 90 minutes, that's a snooze. And, 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 and have, you, have you ever woken up from the nine minutes refreshed? Oh, the nine was all I needed. 10 minutes, it would have been overkill. I'd, I'd have been groggy had I had that extra 60 seconds. I'm so glad they nipped it right there at nine minutes because now I'm fully rested and ready to take on the day. Awful, these jobs. You know what? I had a job as a substitute teacher. I was, I was a gym teacher and uh, God bless the little kid. I, I, I never made them climb the ropes in gym class. That is cruel and unusual. I would never do that to the kids because I did it when I was a little kid. It's not safe. It's not safe. What could go wrong here? All right, okay, kids, uh, don't run in the hallways. We've lost a lot of kids running in the hallways. Instead, sweetheart, walk, walk into the gym, climb 850 feet straight in the air. <laughs> yep, uh, yeah, when you get to the top there, you're gonna be exhausted, no doubt. But what I want you to do then, just slide down so fast you have fire <laughs> shooting out of your hands, yeah. Yeah, hopefully some asbestos will sprinkle from the ceiling and keep you from completely igniting. Uh, and, and what's that, sweetie? Oh, you're afraid of falling. Oh, that's so cute, he's afraid of falling. Don't worry about falling, we've taken precautions. Yeah, we've laid down some thin blue mats. <laughs> Do you remember those? Were those there to break your fall or so the cops could draw a chalk outline around your dead body? Roll them up, let's take them out of here. This is embarrassing. And then as a special treat for the boys, right, for the boys only, at the bottom of the rope, we're gonna tie a big fat knot. <laughs> so that when you land, <laughs> we will make sure you never have kids in this school. That's, yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh man, you could climb those ropes all you want. They never said a thing. Just don't run with the scissors. That's all my teacher asked. She would go crazy. <gasps> don't run with the scissors. Oh, for the love of God, kids, don't run with the scissors. <laughs> And do you remember the scissors? They didn't cut anything. I got worse cuts from the brown paper towels. The brown paper towels, you start off with a runny nose, you wind up with a bloody nose, yeah, those? There were actual pieces of bark in those things. I would, I would rather wipe my nose on an oak tree than the, and those scissors. You could stand there all day. Teacher, I'm gonna take my own life. Don't you come a step further. I can't make a cursive Z. You wouldn't even get a hickey from that. But my teacher nonetheless would hide the scissor in a desk drawer, lock the drawer to protect us. Which is brilliant, of course, because you know, in the back of the room, she would leave that giant paper cutter. Yeah, you could behead a cow with that thing. Oh, that's right, lady. You hide the safety scissors, leave that portable guillotine out for everyone to play with. That's... And who is running with scissors? Why would you already get an emergency snowflake to cut? Teacher, I need white construction paper, stat. Stat is what I needed. 